So we are on our way to JFK where we fly out tonight. We're heading over to Hong Kong for two nights and then we head from there to Shanghai for four days and that will knock off all 12 Disney parks for us. So this will be the end of our experience to get to all the Disney parks. And are you excited, Sarah? Yeah, I can't wait to get over there. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah, so once we get to JFK, we have a little bit of time. We're gonna hang out there and then head our flight this evening, which is with Cathay Pacific. All right, we're headed to the TWA Hotel to grab drinks and hang out for a little while before we go to our flight. And this is part of the airport. So this is in Terminal 5 at JFK and apparently it's new, Jeff? It's kind of new. Kind it's of new. not that new. All right, well, we're excited to check it out before our flight. Yes, we are. How excited are you, Sarah? And here we are in the lobby. You can actually go into the airplane outside. There's tables and seats. We are at the TWA Hotel, and so this is connected to Terminal 5 at JFK Airport. We're just grabbing a drink, a bite to eat, and then we're gonna head over our terminal. Since we're flying business class, we have access to a lounge there, so we're gonna hang out there until our flight. I got a lychee Bellini, and Jeff got a Stella. So outside the TWA Hotel, there's an airplane you can actually go on with seats, and it's an older one, it's refitted, and it's called Connie, and that's actually where I'm gonna head right now. All right, we're gonna check out the airplane, and there is a bar inside. So here's the front of the plane. And then this is a bar if you wanna sit inside the plane. So if you have some time to kill, I would definitely come over and check out the TWA. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I think you probably need, what do you think, maybe an hour to come over here, but yeah. there's food, there's drinks, there's a ton of stuff to just explore and walk around. It's a really cool lobby with a lot of fun things to check out. So if you're at JFK with about an hour or so to spare, I'd walk over. It's connected to the JetBlue terminal, which is Terminal 5. You don't even have to go outside. You can just head over here for a fun time. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Time for a little pre-flight snack. So we're in the lounge. Hey everyone, we are in the lounge. So it has cleared out quite a bit now because it is getting later. So I think there's only maybe two flights left, but I just wanna talk a little bit about the lounge. So we have access to this because we are flying business class. Uh, there's a bunch of other ways that you can kind of gain access to the lounge, but for us on this trip, it's the business class ticket. And it's really nice because you're able to get um, free food and drinks and you can just kind of sit and relax before you go to your flight. So um, the lounge for this one is is not very far from our gate. So this is really kind of nice, easy way to relax before our flight. And there's gonna be hot food, so that's chicken and fish. And then down here will be more uh, salad food and desserts.
They also have a bunch of different alcohol options, so you can make yourself uh, pretty much any type of cocktail that you want. So just a little information about our flight. We are taking a 12.45 a.m. flight on Cafe Pacific to Hong Kong. The flight is about 16 hours, so it's a really long flight. And because of this, we wanted to fly either business or first class. So we booked a business class ticket with points um, for our trip over. So we're really looking forward to it. It's gonna give us a bed where we can kind of lay down and hopefully get some sleep. So we're ready to go once we get to Disney. Goodbye airport lounge, we'll miss you. Now heading over to get on our flight. We're in the airport and we are heading over to our gate to get on the flight. It's pretty quiet in here. We're heading to the plane, I'm so excited. Yeah, we're about to head on board. It's just a couple gates down and then we take off for 15 and a half hours. Yeah, I can't wait though. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. All right, here we go, let's head on. Here we are. We're on the plane! <laughs> There's Jeff's seat, and then I'm right next to him. So this is gonna go flat into a bed, and then your feet can go all the way under there. my champagne so they just came around before takeoff so when everyone else is boarding and then also this is like a little uh, bag of stuff <laughs> I don't know what amenities bag probably uh, and this is gonna have a bunch of things like socks um, a toothbrush and toothpaste so it's just things that if you want during your flight you have it and then you're free to take it with you when you're the flight's done we are fully boarded, so we just had some pre-flight champagne, and now we are getting ready for takeoff. So really excited! I'll pop over and kind of show you the view. Here's Jeff. So it will be really easy for us to talk during the flight. We're really excited! Can't wait to get there. Hot towel time. Is it really hot, Jeff? No, nope, it's perfect. It's perfect, oh good. So I am so excited about this. Um, it's a little thing that you can hang right there and it will say what your breakfast is and if you wanna be woken up for breakfast or not. So this is gonna be super helpful since we try to, are gonna to try to get some sleep on the flight. So here is an idea of our flight path. So we're starting in JFK and we're going up and over the North Pole. If I can get this to go, uh, and then we'll cut through Asia and then la land in Hong Kong. So um, it's saying on here that our flight time is just under 15 hours, so that's less than it uh, originally had been stated as, so they're making some good time. But we can't wait to get over there. This is dinner. It's pork with white rice, a specialty drink called the Cathay Delight, some champagne, and a roll. I just got my meal, so I went with the vegetarian option. So it's uh, vegetables, sunflower seeds, and some greens. And then it has bread, 
I went with a lighter option because I'm not too hungry and I want dessert. Uh, but I'm mostly excited about this drink. So it's actually Jeff's, he ordered it, but it's like mint and coconut. Um, it is amazing. So I'm gonna definitely get more of these on the trip. So I just finished all of my meal and that vegetarian thing was awesome. So it was really, really good. Um, and then I had a glass of wine and again, this mint coconut drink, whatever it is, is really good too. So I was very impressed by all the food. So for dessert, they have quite a few options, cheese, tiramisu, but I just wanted a plain ice cream. So I got a honey salted caramel almond ice cream. All right, so time for dessert. I got tiramisu, and then for a drink, I got it's the Pacific Sunrise, so it's one of the Cafe Pacific special drinks. And so the description is here. It's gonna be champagne with orange. Hey everyone, so our meal was really good, and we had our dessert, and now we are going to try to get some sleep, so we're ready to go for Hong Kong. All right, we are all ready for bed. So we're gonna try to sleep. So here's Jeff all tucked in and his feet go down under there. So he's laying completely flat. So here's my current situation. I have my TV turned around and then down there are my feet. So I'm gonna be able to lay completely flat, get some sleep after I finish a little bit more Star Wars. Hey everyone, so just a quick check-in. I can't sleep, I'm too excited, uh, but Jeff is still sound asleep over there. I gave up on sleeping, so it's gonna be tea time and watching some more movies. I just got up from sleeping for breakfast. It comes with an omelet, some potatoes, sausage, coffee, fruit, yogurt, parfait, and two croissants. So it's a pretty good looking breakfast and you get this about two and a half, three hours before you land. I just got my breakfast, so it comes with some pastries, that's a yogurt parfait back there, and then I got the con continental, so it's just with some fruit and a coffee. So it is about two hours from Hong Kong. We had the 15 hour flight, which is about over. I slept for about eight hours. I think Sarah slept for five or six. I actually just watched both of the new Star Wars movies to get ready for the release of the final one here when we get back from Hong Kong. But overall, it's been a really nice flight. It's been relaxing. I'm rested and we're both really excited to go check out Hong Kong Disneyland. Hey, so we just made it through customs. It's about 5.30, so we actually made up time in the air, landed early. Uh, customs was really easy, so no problem came through. And now we're gonna find a cab and head over to Disneyland. So once you come out of customs, you just head right over to this giant television screen area. It says HKIA Tower, Two City. You can see the giant taxi picture up there. Head out here, go left, that's where the taxis are, and you take the light blue taxi to, I think it's pronounced Lantau Island, and that will take us right to Disneyland. So there are a lot of signs for taxi, so you just keep following them to taxi, and fingers crossed that they're there and waiting. So at the end of the taxi hallway, it lists where each one goes, Urban Taxi, New Territories Taxi, Lantau, and HKIA Tower, and we're going to the light blue Lantau Taxi. When you come outside, it's a hard right. You just follow the color, you don't even need to be able to read, even though everything is in English. And here's the Lantau taxi line. And it even says Hong Kong Disneyland. And they're actually all queued up here right on the left. You can see the light blue fronts. And we're just gonna hop in one to go to our hotel, which is the Explorer's Lodge at Hong Kong Disneyland. And so far everybody's spoken English, but we did print out the directions and the name of everything just in case we needed it.
We are here! We made it! So this is the front of the Explorer's Lodge at Disneyland Hong Kong. They even have a Land Rover out here themed to the Explorer's Lodge. But again, it's not even 6 a.m., so it is very quiet. And this is the entrance. They've got all these little Mickey and Donald and Goofy characters around in their explorer's outfits. They've got trees for the holidays. Explorer's Lodge name. More trees for the holidays. And characters again, and here we go in. And this is the lobby. There's so many Christmas decorations here. They have an amazing tree. And if you've ever been to the Animal Kingdom Lodge in Disney World, it's incredible how much this place reminds us of that. It even has the bridge going across the lobby like at Disney World. So it is 6 a.m. Obviously we are a little early for check-in. That's when our flight got here. There are zero people here. Just the guest uh, relations worker at the front desk where Sarah's checking in because the reservation is in her name. And then someone working the luggage desk. So while Sarah checks in, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about our flight. The flight was amazing. It was 15 hours, but it was incredible how quick it went by. I managed to sleep for about eight hours, and Sarah, I think, slept for seven or so. The food was outstanding. There was a ton of videos and movies and TV to watch, so it went by really quickly. Once we got out of the flight, it was a long walk to immigration, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, we walked right through there in less than five minutes. We were on our cab probably no more than 15 minutes after getting off of our flight and then we were here to the hotel I would say a 15 minute cab ride so all in all we landed at 520 and we are at the hotel before 6 o'clock still so it could not have been easier so this is the check-in desk with Mickey's from all over the world kind of finding or going along with that Explorers theme And then once Sarah checks us in, I will have her tell you the details of everything she just found out. So at the back of the lobby, they have a little uh, seating area. Downstairs, they have some dining, it looks like, but obviously that's not open yet. Once it lights up or gets brighter outside, we will show you what it looks like out there. But right here, we have the Dreamers Lookout. And this opens at 11 a.m. And then we'll check out here for a second on the left. We'll actually have it on the left and the right. Two resort maps. We can just kind of see what the Explorer's Lodge looks like. And this is just one of three hotels here. They have, I think it's called the Hollywood Hotel and the Disneyland Hotel. We chose this one just because of the theming. We thought it looked really cool. And here's that map. It's a pretty big resort. Lobby's right in the middle, two sets of rooms. They've got the water on the left-hand side. A little walkway, it looks like. We'll see if we can actually walk that way or not, but it says to the Hollywood Hotel up here. Down here is to the Disneyland Hotel. There's the pool area we just tried to go check out, but it was too dark. And everything is just centered around that main lobby. And that's about it. We'll check out more things as they open up and as the day gets later, we can go outside and explore some stuff. But for now, at 6 a.m., that's what the Explorer's Lodge looks like. Okay, so 
even though it's 6 a.m., our room is actually ready. We're in the Africa section. I have no idea where that is, but we'll follow Sarah to the map up here on the left and see which direction to walk. How cute are these little cases on there? This is actually the only thing I didn't explore yet. So we weren't actually planning on swimming or anything, but it does turn out that the hotel pool here is under construction or under refurbishment. And they said we can just go use the Disneyland one, which is a short walk. So are we South America and Africa? We're in the elevator. It's right here. Oh, sorry, I missed it. All right, so we are up on what floor? Fifth floor. Fifth floor. I'll push it. I think it is themed like a hot air balloon. We're going on an adventure. Yeah, there's the altitude. This is awesome. It's so, a really well themed elevator. The lobby is on the third floor and then the restaurants are on the second floor. And so we're on the fifth floor. Well, while Sarah double checks that, I will show a quick view over the lobby. We just got to our room in the Africa section of the Explorer's Lodge at Hong Kong Disneyland. And when you first walk in, there is a bunch of storage space, so it's great for kind of suitcases. There is a mini fridge. Uh, there are two complimentary waters, which are ginormous, and some really fun uh, Disney details. The bedroom space is huge, so I love uh, it's two queen beds. There's a Mickey and Minnie above the bed. Um, and I will show you guys the view. You can't really see too much right now because the sun is still coming up. The shower has a pocket door which uh, breaks off the shower and toilet area. So the shower is really clean, really nice. So it's a very nice space. The sink area is very simple. Um, the best part though is this tin. So it has your kind of amenities in it, but that tin is awesome. I can't wait to bring that home with me as a souvenir. And just kind of the last quick peek of the bedroom space. One thing that was awesome when we came in here, they left us Christmas cookies, so that was so sweet. Um, I think Jeff might have already eaten one, um, and he said they were good. And uh, the view, again, the sun's just coming up, so we were upgraded to a sea view room as like one of the specials that was going. But I'll see if we can get a picture of it so you can kind of see it a bit better, but it is a really great view. The last thing is I was super excited. Um, that they were able to get us in here because it is so early, it's only 6 a.m. Um, so we're gonna take a rest before heading to the park and there's a ton of plugs which have adapters so it's awesome, we can plug in all of our US stuff. I wanted to take a second and go over the items they provided at check-in. The first is gonna be the time guide and guide map. So the times are gonna have the shows and the parades. The guide map's gonna have the park map and then also um, some other information about food and character meet and greets. And these are gonna be uh, in English as well. So it's gonna have stuff in English. Uh, the probably more important items, the first one is the priority admissions pass. This is gonna give us access to five uh, rides in their Fast Pass version. So because we're staying at a Hong Kong hotel, if you stay at any of the Hong Kong hotels, you will get this. Um, so there's each one of these tickets is for two people and we have five of them. So there's 10 total uh, Fast Passes and we can use them anytime before our departure date, uh, which is December 19th. We also were given one admission pass to the Lion King show. Uh, with the admission pass, you have to pick what time you want uh, for your day. Uh, so the day and time. So we picked today at two o'clock. So we're gonna go check out the Lion King show. They said because the park's not very busy right now, uh, we can just show 15 minutes early with this pass and we should be good to go. 
And then they gave us uh, these coupons for dining. So uh, they're just money off if we want it for, I believe, a character dining and a sit-down dining. Um, I don't know if we'll use those. Uh, we're probably going to do more snacks and quick service, but still good to have them. And I'll read the details a bit more to see if it's something we want to look into. And then the last thing is our park tickets. So when I made the reservation for our hotel, I had selected uh, two-day park tickets for us. And so they gave those to me at check-in as well. Uh, they said when we go through security or when we actually go into the park, uh, they will take our picture. So we'll just have to make sure we keep them straight. I'll probably take the mini and give Jeff the Donald. The last thing uh, is with your hotel key, when you go, after you go through security, they said you can keep to the right and hotel guests can uh, get into the park a little bit faster because of that. It's not like early hours. I think it's just a dedicated line, but we'll check that out when we head over there later. The sun came up enough so I can give you guys a view out of our hotel room. It is absolutely beautiful. The grounds are really pretty, um, but Hong Kong is gorgeous. We landed in the dark, so we didn't really get to see it much. But thank you all so much for following along with our travel day. We are going to unpack a little and then walk over to Disneyland, check some stuff out, and start exploring the park.